hey guys so in today's video i'm gonna give you my long term review for ipad 9 generation so i have been using this ipad for last six to seven months and uh, mostly i do uh, my digital art using this tablet or maybe watching youtube videos and netflix so initially when i start my digital art journey i used to use my xp pen non-display tablet then i upgraded to huion canvas 22 display which is like a very big one but the only problem with this uh, display is it got a lesser ppi that is pixel per inch so like when you like lean towards your screen and draw the pixel is quite visible which is look very cheap in its quality but like if you're starting it out it is very good for like gestural drawing and actually understanding and practicing art it is a very good device so then i thought of like getting my ipad so i was not sure about using my ipad as a primary device for drawing i just thought like uh, let me like just get it and see if it is for me or not if it it works then i might upgrade to ipad pro or 12.9 inch ipad initially when i got this i just used to watch uh, netflix anime So how I start using this iPad? I spent like a lot of hours on my bigger display and it was fun. So um, sometime when I take a break, I open my iPad and I brought like a Procreate app. I was just using that as like a uh, rough sketchbook to like coming out of an ideas or maybe sketching thing out or just randomly drawing here and there. And then like after doing that like or very roughly sketches for like an uh, week or month I was actually enjoying that and the only problem with like uh, this iPad is smaller screen and non laminated display talking about the few advantages of using this it's portable and the software is so much smooth you will not face any issues like if you use a photoshop you know what i'm talking about like sometimes photoshop suddenly crash photoshop is very heavy software on the other hand like photo uh, procreate seems so much smoother as compared to photoshop so coming to some of the cons so this got non-laminated display that is there is a gap between pixel of the display and the upper glass so when your screen protector got scratched, the gap seems obvious. So it's better to like change your protector often so that it doesn't seem visible. The second con is smaller screen. So if you are using like something around 22 inch, like in a bigger display, used to like bigger display, it is a bit smaller. So the advice is to use it in a portrait mode so that you will get bigger possible screen size and number three cons will be the apple pencil which is like very thin so you can like simply get an any silicon grip so you don't need to go with any kind of brand uh, any basic silicon grip will work and uh, one of the cons that i faced and if 
you are used to photoshop is using keyboard shortcuts so what you can do you can get this uh, usb cable or you can get a bluetooth keyboard and you can use this short keys but the problem with that it is not customizable so until procreate fix this thing we have to deal with that so these are some of the uh, point that you have to keep in mind while you are getting your ipad 9 generation to the conclusion so if you just starting your art journey as a digital artist or you are using traditional medium and you want to get into digital art and you don't want to deal with so many wires and, and you, you, you need a portability this is a device that you should be going for it is a very good beginner level ipad and hope you like this video if you did let me know in a comment section and i will see you in the next video